Hello, hello, welcome to episode six. In today's episode, we are going to be focusing on generating more power with different items, making a mob grinder, and finally working on a chip pack to get flight. So let's get straight into it. So to start off with, let's get this jet pack. In order to get this jet pack, we need a leather strap. Leather strap is quite easy. We need two wood thrusters, which is going to be two furnaces and a wooden energy cell. And those cells require basic coils, which is not hard to make either. Bada bing, bada boom, two wooden energy cells. Now we can turn those cells into thrusters. Now what we're going to need is the capacitor, which is made out of any wood and three energy cells. And now we have the wood capacitor. We can then turn into the wood jetpack. Now to make the upgrades to those jetpacks, we need the jetpack itself, the capacitor, the thrusters, and the component we're upgrading it to. And there we have it, copper jetpack. All right, that's the golden jetpack. And that's the diamond jetpack. Now I actually have run out of materials to make that jetpack, but we do have a really good one, the diamond jetpack. Look at that thing. That looks so cool. All right, so in order to charge this jetpack, we need a battery. Yeah, this one. I need something better than this reactor. I found out you can make a thermo generator, which generates power off of heat sources, but you can actually upgrade this to 2000 FE per tick. This isn't going to be easy. Blazing generator. That's the last one. All right, here's the last core that we need, and I believe we can just turn it into niotic. Oh, right, of course, the core. Boom. Niotic thermo generator. And we can start generating our power via this generator. And voila, power. Now I am gonna make a couple more of these. Now I think lava generates more. I don't know if that matters at all. And we're better to find lava than heck. Immediately, a legendary spawns. There. What is that? Oh no, Hoglin returns. This time. Ah, uh, ah, uh, something to recycle. Oh my gosh, as I go home. Another one spawns. Oh, iron pants. Really bad iron pants. Oh crap, oh crap. Whoops. Let's get rid of this magma block and replace it with a lava source. And see if it generates better power. I, d I really don't think it matters. And we can use our newly acquired thermo generators to charge this thing. Now that's gonna take a while because it can hold 30 million iffy. No, that's a lot. But we have essentially just acquired a jetpack. Oh my God, this thing is so good. So yeah, we'll let this charge uh, a little bit more than that. We can check off all of these. Now we can get into solar generators. Now I've actually prepared for this, so I'll just be able to craft them straight up. Essentially what I want is solar generators to make an advanced solar generator. That way, 
I can have even more power up here next to my windmills. At the daytime, it's going to produce energy and I can hook it up and it's going to be nice. How is that checked off? Now we can finally get into mob grinding. Now mob grinding is going to be super fun because there's a block called an entity conveyor which pushes the mobs opposed to water slowly doing it, you know, pushing them into that circle, they fall down. This just straight up, as soon as they land on that block, they go zoom in. First of all, building montage, go! Now for the auto killing system, we're going to need six iron swords plus the two, so eight. And then we're going to make the spikes, which is iron blocks. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, that should be everything. Boom. Mob masher. Now we are going to need three of these because I have three areas we can actually make all, all of the upgrades for your sword up to a max of 10 oh shit that should be enough swords to at least get 10 oh right gold we ran out of gold we ran out of gold uh, oh. We need 30, so... Six? That's all I managed to muster? <laughs> Damn it. I need one more. Oh my god, I'm going through so much iron. There we go, I made enough. <laughs> now I just gotta make the other two. So there we go, there's that done. And there we have it. Two more mob mashes. Both with sharpness 10 and looting 10. Wait, what the heck? A legendary just spawned on top of my house. What a gift. A pickaxe? We want it to be roughly here. Oh, I can change the offset even though it's there. So I can just place it on the chest itself, but then offset it by two. And bada bing, bada boom. And that is that done. So now I want all these chests to link to the center, just to make my life easier. And by doing that, we need these transfer hoppers, which doesn't count as a block. So if we fill this chest with an item, it'll get taken. And it should get shot into this chest here. Yep. Okay, that works. Now we've got to do the opposite way. OK, 
Okay, that's all set up. Now let's put some mobs in there. Alright, that spawn is linked up to zombies. Okay, that's a problem. Yeah, that's gonna look stupid. But it works. <laughs> now to finally try out the jetpack. Boom. Oh my god. This thing is so good. Wait, what if I turn off hover? And I just like... Oh my... Dude. I can finally scale this mountain and stand on top of it. I think with that, I'm going to leave it there.